For all humans to be created again, we shall mimic Martin Luther King's legacy and turn this evil world neutral again by creating positive energy. Every human must understand every 13 aspects of life to unlock your real human abilities. I, Jalen Hargrove, son of Adam, and great-grandson of Jesus swear to put nothing but great energy to the people to make the world neutral again. All humans had the power to heal themselves through positive strengths that charge every living part of your body with natural positive energy. There is no specific medicine to cure mental pain. Pain is not natural. Pain comes from humanly decisions affecting every part of your body in a negative way. Having natural good energy and character will help America be great again. Although weed is a natural plant from God, it will only cure your pain when you learn to forgive and forget. The reason I hide my conditions are because the constant voices of God and the devil are telling me exactly what I want to do. I learned that love and loyalty are never through words, but through positive reaction and negative reaction, stemming through your only humanly intuition. I adapt to regular humans by understanding every trait known by man. You can be labeled an ultra-human, if you constantly fight for what you believe in, the voices in my head tell me to follow my good intuition. Due to the increased sense of good anxiety and bad anxiety from my three mental health conditions, to spread love and generosity to all creatures on earth brought to the land by God. Humans were brought to earth to protect and serve. I found the last bit of my research by healing from my pain and piecing every missing puzzle in my life to mentally cure myself. The final key to life is learning to forget and find love through Jesus. Life is a game. Solve it and your soul will forever be immortal. What 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 brought you to writing this for us? In a psych world, it, it was like God in my brain hmm. telling me to do nothing but good. And I and I think I found a key to humanity, maybe. Did you feel like So that's so that is what you would call your key to humanity. Yeah, I mean it is it, it is it is it has it has a lot of it has a lot of morals in there that we should live by definitely. And I like how I like how the last part you said that you did your last bit of research on, you know, just from your own pain and your own things, and I feel like that's the best type of research to have is your own experiences. You know what I mean? Yeah. How. Talk about let's talk about you your your big thing in this in this thing was mental health. Talk about like why do you think it's important for us to, you know, worry about that? You know niggas don't worry about that stuff. It's important to focus on mental health because mental health is what controls your body. Like if you're not right in the head, your legs not gonna move right. Your thinking ain't going to be straight. Hell You're not yeah. going to fight right. You're not going to get girls right. Why you think people become certain shit? You feel me? People become certain things because they lack in this in life. Okay. You can never lack nothing. You can only learn if you, don't, if you, good, if you follow your good intuition and not your bad intuition. You can do nothing but learn when you're when you a good person. How, how do you expect for us, the people... To take your message However you want to take it I, I, I mean I hope it changed the world You know I hope it changed the world Okay I believe in you It was it's, 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 I, I can't wait to play it back When I'm editing this To really Dive deep into it You know Cause you wasn't just Saying I'm sorry mama I'm sorry daddy You know what I mean Yeah it ain't It ain't a sob story That's what I'm trying to tell the people I am it's just real. You take it how you take it. Shit. So from, from how do you think, what do, what do you have to say about mental health in like your industry with rappers? Shit. Your mental health ain't right. Your money ain't going to be right. The songs ain't going to be right. Because you're going to be talking about dumb ass shit. That's why niggas don't got no substance because their mental health ain't right. They only talk up and rap about the same thing. Okay. So mental health is very vital to life. Is there is there is there anything from reading that out and reading it out to the people right now? 
and getting it off your chest. Is there anything else that come that just flow off the top of your head that you have to say to the people? Uh, that's the only thing. When I wrote this, this is all I wanted to get to the people. It's all I wanted to get to the people. How do you think this message and this thing that happened to you is going to impact your future, your next step forward? Shit, this gonna get me where I wanna be. Where would you wanna be? In heaven. Oh shit. So you you moving on a bigger scale than everybody else. You not worry about just having a number one album. I worry about having a number one dial in my bank account. That's what I'm worried about. I'm focused on that. I'm thinking about a million ways. Shit, I don't know what I want. I wake up and sell something. I can sell, nigga, I can sell a picture, nigga. You can sell a picture to a phone? Nigga, I can sell a phone to a nigga who want to buy a picture to a nigga who want to buy an Instagram account. Oh, my goodness. Let me think about that. Sell a phone to a nigga that want to... Okay. It didn't make sense, but... You feel me? I just had to think about it's a this. Metaphor. It's I had to. I get it. I get it though. It's, I like the metaphor. I say that shit. I, I put that on a t-shirt. 